Hey everyone, it's Lee here at Simply Busted by Steaming and Sons, and today we've got another tool review for you. We are going to be reviewing this, the Lumberjack BD370 belt and disc sander. Now if you remember, earlier in my YouTube channel we did review a cheap Chinese belt and disc sander which still lives out in my van workshop. Um, that came in at around £75 including delivery, so it was a really, really cheap tool. Um, but it worked. It was a little bit bent in transit, uh, straighten it up and you know straighten the base out and that's fine now. Um, and it still works and it's still in my van and we use it but we needed something for the new shop so we decided to go a little bit more expensive but still trying to keep it you know for that entry level woodworker who's just starting out and trying to you know set up a shop for as little as possible but something that's a little bit better quality. Now this one from Lumberjack with postage comes in at around £115. So we're going to find out today if that extra £40 is worth the investment. Let's see what it's like. So if you saw me building the cheap Chinese 75 quid delivered to your door jobby, you will have noticed that it took me a hell of a lot longer to build. The whole thing needed to be assembled. Um, it was pretty, pretty horrific. If you saw then, I've literally put in one wing nut, two Allen key bolts, and that is ready to rock. Um, so, already, <laughs> this is so much better. But will it perform better? Who knows? I mean, um, I can see already there's a lot of be much better features on this than there isn't on the, the cheap one. One of which is dust extraction. There is zero dust extraction on the one in the van. Uh, I've had to fashion a dust extractor that just sits at the top to try and catch the dust because it's terrible. But this has actually got built-in dust extraction. So that's one massive feature that the, uh, the cheap Chinese one doesn't have. So on the Chinese one, if you want to adjust this work table here, um, you have to do it all with the nuts and bolts, which is a bit of a nightmare. Uh, whereas this one is just like a plastic wing nut. And we can drop that down with a nice gauge on the side telling us you know, what degree we're at. Um, set that back to zero. Wind that in. Once that's tight, that's solid. Uh, it's not bent and rocking, which is novel, which was a nice feature with the Chinese one because it was all dinted in the packaging. So it, it rocked. We had to make a stand for it to sit on to stop it from rocking um, and bend it out a little bit to try and straighten it up best we could. Um, this, the block stopper here, which is supposed to stop your wood flying off in that direction. Again, on the Chinese one, it's just one strip of metal. Uh, this is a much sturdier construction and uh, much better. And this one also has Quick release for uh, for the, the belt for taking on and off. Now on the Chinese one, um, it kind of has that. We couldn't work out what it was for to start with um, because on the Chinese one it had a handle that went backwards and forwards and it had an arrow pointing to belt and disc. So at first I thought that's novel. It's You can change from belt to disc and it changes the drive so you don't have to have them both spinning at the same time. Uh, they didn't work, it didn't change from belt to disc and then when we found out it was supposed to be a quick release for doing the belt but nothing was connected to it inside so it's basically just a completely useless flappy handle whereas this one actually works. One other feature that the Lumberjack has that the cheap Chinese one didn't have is a 90 degree angle adjustment on the belt sander which um, you need an allen key for this and there's just one allen key bolt on the back there Undone that. I've got a 90 degree angle there. You can lift it up if that's going to make it easier for you to do your, your work piece. You can lift that up uh, depending on what you're doing. 
you know, sometimes it's going to be more comfortable to hold your workpiece upright. We've got that. So all in all, build up time, about five minutes. The Chinese one took me about an hour. Um, general build, obviously much better. Uh, extra features, we've got the 90 degree angle adjustment and also a dust port. The mitre gauge on this is much better, as I say, the mitre gauge and workstation on the Chinese one have to, have to be adjusted with spanners, whereas this, they're both sort of like a plastic wing nut so you can change the angle on your mitre gauge and the angle um, on your work plate fairly easily there. I think the only things left to do now will just give it a quick test run, see how it works. I know with the, the Chinese one we're forever having to adjust the tension of the belt. That is one thing that really gets on my nerves. Um, it doesn't hold the tension of the belt very well. Uh, so if you're using it quite a lot in a day, you will find that a couple of times you have to adjust the tension on the belt, it, it tends to get loose. Um, and if you're, you're then having to tighten it up. Uh, so let's see if this one's any better. We'll give it a bit, bit of a quick spin. I've got an idea to give it a good, a good test. I've got a few door stops that I need to make uh, for sales on our Etsy page. Uh, I will put a link to our Etsy page in the description below. Uh, to make these door stops, we basically take the pallet blocks, uh, the larger pallet blocks that come in the big pallets, um, and we have to sand these down, stain them and torch them in whatever colour the customer has ordered and add a galvanised ring onto the top and when they're finished they look like this. Uh, as I say, if you would like to purchase one of these, visit our Etsy page, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but to do that, so I've got a few orders, so why not try out the sander now? Um, let's give it a whirl. That works so much better uh, than the cheap Chinese one. Is it worth £40 more than the cheap Chinese one? No. It's worth about £100 more than the cheap Chinese one. Um, that stop is so much secure, so much more secure and so much safer. Uh, without, even without the dust extraction turned on and nothing connected into it, because of the design uh, of the back here, um, the, the sort of body, shapes up and shapes around whereas you don't get that on the cheap one so as it takes the dust and carries it it throws it into where the dust extractor would be hooked up to so even though we've not had a dust extractor on it's still throwing it down and it's it's you know it's making a pile at the back of the machine there coming out through the dust pot in with the cheap one it, it's everywhere the dust is everywhere there's, there's nothing on the back so it just it just comes straight off off the belt there and it's just firing it everywhere. It's it's awful. Um, I need to have a quick play on the disc sander, but already I knew it was going to be better, um, but I'm a little bit upset of how much better because now I'm going to have to get rid of the really nasty one in the van, which I thought was all right for 75 quid, uh, and at least get another one of these. Just the dust extraction alone uh, is, is making it up for me. Um, been able to easily adjust everything without tools, except um, that angle, which I'm not very rare, I'm not really going to use that angle, so I, I don't think that matters too much that you need an Allen key for that, but it would have been nice to be able to adjust that. There might be a reason behind that needing um, not to be like a plastic wing nut like the rest. Um, we'll see. But, beautiful finish on that. Uh, Almost ready for, just want a little bit more going over, but that's almost ready now um, to be stained. I don't recall what colour the order that's coming needs to be, so I'll check that and get that stained or painted or whatever it needs to be. Add the galvanised ring and send it out. Um, but yeah, I'll have a little play with the, um, the disc sander. A little final review up. So I've got a piece of scrap wood just out the scrap bin. I'm just going to try the, the disc sander and see how well that performs. Uh, 
as I expected, it's a disc sander. Don't really know what to say about it. It spins round and sands stuff. Uh, it works really well, um, but it is what it is. It's a piece of spinning sandpaper going like that. So final overview of the Lumberjack BD370 belt and disc sander um, on its own for about £115 delivered to your door. Is it worth the money? Yes, it is. Um, for 115 quid, I would highly recommend um, if you are a entry level woodworker, if you are just starting out, if you are trying to set up a shop for as cheap as possible and you want a belt and disc sander and you're looking at a 75 quid Chinese disc sander on eBay, then I would definitely put another 40 quid towards it and get yourself one of these. Um, it's much nicer, much easier build up. You don't have to put the entire thing together. Um, it's a much sturdier design. Everything is better about this. Um, the dust extraction, the stock block, the work table, the mitre gauge, everything is better about this disc sander. So if you're looking for a fairly cheap bench top belt and disc sander, um, and you've seen the ones on eBay for about 70 quid, 80 quid, I wouldn't bother. I really wouldn't bother. I've got one. Uh, by all means, I can put a link to this. this I can put a link to the description uh, for one of those so you can watch me reviewing one of those um, weeks before I even owned this one. Um, and you can see at the time I was happy with it, um, but you can also see how long it took me to build up, how wobbly and bent it was when it came, uh, how many features comparing to this one that it's lacking, uh, and make the decision for yourself. This is around about £40 more to buy. So you're looking at 115 rather than 75. Uh, make the decision for yourself. I'll put a link to that other video in the description so you guys can make, just make that decision for yourself. Uh, but for me, this isn't worth 40 pounds more. It is definitely worth at least 100 pounds more for the extra things that you're getting. Um, the much better build quality. For 40 pounds, uh, you would be an absolute idiot to go out and get the other one if you've watched both these videos. You really would. Um, I'll also put a link to Lumberjack's website if you want to purchase one of these uh, Lumberjack BD370 belt, tabletop belt and disc sanders. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that so you can pop over there. If you've enjoyed the video guys, please do hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification. You want to make sure that you get notified when new videos come out. We've got a couple more tool reviews, but we have got some great little projects coming up. Um, some simple woodworking for simple woodworkers, just like me. See you soon guys.